Lions. And what an atmosphere in Omaha, Nebraska, with number one in town. Two top 15 teams meeting head to head in front of a packed house at the CHI Health Center in Omaha, Nebraska. Why are they here? Why are they jacked up? Because these are two of the top three teams in the Big East. You see the top five standings. UConn trying to run away with the Big East. Creighton trying to throw a wrench into the plans of the Huskies here in Omaha tonight. And we welcome you. Here's Shireman lob into Kalkbrenner. Klingen right there. Blocked by Klingen. Kalkbrenner staying with it, and he gets the two plus one more. And he got him jammed under that basket. Shireman. Terrific defender as well. Newton in the corner to Castle. The freshman will whip it right back to Newton for a three. That's short. Rebound nice Klingen. Nice job by Miller helping out. A nice job inside by Klingen. Donovan. Then I am pretty good. This is what they had trouble up in Connecticut. Nice pass and roll. Oh, pretty by Ashworth. Big fella. This UConn team might be better than the national title team. Uh, did you see that little hand hedge too? Defensively, he normally makes that shot. Paul Brenner with the offensive rebound. Good Finds kick. Trey Alexander for an open three. Rattles around and home. What an advantage on the kick at this team. And they will wear you out, too, with the movement, the mm -hmm. running, part of the plan for Coach Hurley and UConn against a rather thin Creighton team. Ashworth for three. There it is. How about that? Three others. Six early for Newton. And Shireman. Hasn't scored yet. Only one shot. Working against Spencer. There's Jason Hurley. Green inside and the freshman on the board nothing doing yet for the Blue Jays I see that big show Johnson so good at that Paul Brenner back in with four to shoot go to the hook gotta go fades it away and rattles it home how about that even earlier today about his strength strength and defense too he really can get after people lose those legs Farabello, open man in the corner. That's his specialty. They gotta make those. He and Miller. Big addition. Farabello. She made the screener deal. There's Alexander. He wanted that three. Now he's got to improvise to nice. Farabello, who will try it. His second. Nice three plays. Alexander. The shoot. Alexander gonna go to work against Newton. Jason Green. About that? His never... first career three. You never know when you're going to be caught. Pretty aggressive on the perimeter here. One point Creighton lead their first of the night. Castle challenged by Kalkbrenner. The rejection. Oh, numbers here if they want it. Kalkbrenner with the rim. Farabello. There you go. The big man for two. Caravan unaccustomed. Good luck. Creighton looking to push. Ashworth eyes up, up the floor, attacking. And look at Clarkbender running the floor, set up a screen. Fifteen to shoot for Farabella. Back to Ashworth, matched up against Caravan on the switch. Oh, he's got it. Oh, my. How about that? That's why they wanted him here. Takes away a lot of their flexibility now. Klingon in the game. I would go to him at the other end. If he's on the floor, use him. And to shoot for Ashworth. Baseline. Fates away. Different kid. Different personality. You and I were there a couple of years ago when Nemhard was injured at St. John's and Alexander took over the point guard spot for the rest of the year. Alexander inside. Needed some help. Finds it from Ashworth. Another three falls. It's the Steven. Ashworth's have the hot hand. They've got Castle on him now. First, first game they didn't attack. Now they're going to do more of the attack mode. Ashworth again for three. Wow. He can't miss. Wow. It's his team at UConn that's one of the very best in college basketball. And Creighton's got 39 points on the board. And we've not hit the three-minute mark. And of course, the other end, they have been very effective as well. That's his game. 
He can fill it up. Alexander went right at Klingon. Be careful. 90 seconds until halftime. Alexander against Spencer. Likes to get to his spot and elevate. Fades away. There's that mid range. Wow. Oh, That's Spencer's move, too. It can be a dilemma. Seven He's shooter roll comes Shire. on it. Ran into Klingon in there. Nice pump. Ashworth with the three. Pick it up where he left off. Well, that, that would help. He has been quiet. Nice Five run points. by Miller. Miller to the team for two. How about Alexander? Ops. Creighton's already matched their total output from the first meeting. Miller, set three. How about that? Brooke Brenner, the big body. He's got to coordinate on this end. Little 1-3-1 one, one look now. Shireman, touch pass, Alexander, another three. Right on from here. Again, Shireman not doing it. Does, though. You help a little bit, opens it up for Klingon. Offensive rebound number 11 for UConn in that mix. And the 21-point lead is now 15. Here's Shireman against Castle. I like his activity a little bit more lately. Count that bucket. And they, they, I like the wide attack. Now. Jay's going to work against it. The trailer is Ashworth and back to Trey Alexander here. A yeah, nice little feeling out, too. If it was there, they would have taken it. Creighton at 59.5% from nice. the floor. Oh. Just held off. Ill-advised by Hassan Diara. Now Alexander to work. Well, they're so much more aggressive, though. Going at the rim. With a Miller. right open look. Good the play. Three. And so again, a 21-point great lead. All by Sharman, too. The drift on that weak side. Dribble drive. Baylor's not Baylor tonight. But Shireman has been solid, not doing anything to hurt it, to cause all of a sudden lighten it up with that particular pad. That's something Creighton's going to have to handle tonight in these final they 11 are. and a half minutes. A little shaky in that earlier trip. Sh Shireman, just three points tonight. And Green on the floor, too. Ken up a nice little oh, slip. Wow. Pass. Oh. Again, Shireman within the counter twice. That time, they may be green. Here's Ashworth around the call Brenner screen. Nine to shoot for Farabello. Jason Green, his second How about that? How about that? The timing is Green tried for the offensive board. Yeah, now look at the caravan. One has knocked away Green. And that's that delay game they look to hit Carroll. Next one will send Creighton to the line. Here's their favorite little play, a little flex on the out-of-bounds. Here's Shireman. There's right there. the three. Well, they worked on that out-of-bounds. Four, rather, at the line this year. I think they've got to go away from Newton a little bit now. There's the duck in. He's going to work against Alexander, who backed off with those four fouls, and the rebound, Cole Printer has it, and there's a foul. Toughness. Pulls it in on the upset of UConn. Castle. Real good D by Alexander. And Cole Brenner with a rejection. Diara. And the inbound taken away. Farabello oh, is going to dribble it out. And the Blue Jays have never flown higher for the first time in program history.